Michael Calvi has been doing business in Russia for more than 20 years. He's been charged with fraud worth more than $37 million. Prosecutors say he illegally underpriced shares of Vostochny Bank. Calvi says he's the victim of a corporate dispute with shareholders. High-level executives have come to his defense. He believed in Russia and he believed in Russian climate. If he's in such a situation, who would believe in this climate otherwise? Calvi is one of Russia's most successful foreign investors. One of his biggest success stories has been the rise of internet giant Yandex, better known as Russia's version of Google. In an open letter to Vladimir Putin, Calvi's colleagues have asked the president to personally get involved in his case. But in his annual address to the Federal Assembly last week, Putin suggested his concerns are not always listened to. Dear colleagues, to achieve these goals we have for our country, we should get rid of everything that limits the freedom of entrepreneurship. Honest businesses shouldn't always feel looming persecution and the risk of criminal punishment. I've already asked for your attention to address this problem, but unfortunately the situation has not changed much. But despite his words, reports have emerged that Putin insisted Calvi's case should be investigated, making the business community not hopeful of the president's support. We heard from Mr. Putin for about 15 years in a row, and nothing changes. The situation becomes even worse. Uh, either it means that he says one thing and, and essentially he means another thing, or um, it, he, he, he's, he's powerless and, and cannot influence the, the law enforcement system. Legal experts at the Business Against Corruption Center in Moscow have started their own investigation, hoping to prove Calvi's innocence. And they say that according to Russian law, it is illegal to detain a suspect in a corporate case before his trial. Michael Calvi's case is seen as a sign of the increasing uncertain Russian investment climate. Some say the case shows that without the right connections, it has become more and more difficult to do business here. And with tens of billions of US dollars of oil revenues coming in every year, foreign investors like Calvi are not the government's priority. Step Fasten, Al Jazeera, Moscow.